Welcome back everyone to Stat Oasis channel. In today's video, I will show you how to do variables in a strategy. If you come from any other platform where you are used to program your own strategy, or you're just starting in programming, uh, you might think, well, how do I insert a variable in these strategies? I mean, everything here is packed and organized in uh, blocks, but how can I insert a variable to count something or to hold a value for a while. So uh, to illustrate this, I will build a simple uh, mean reversion strategy on the ES minis. You might not know this, but uh, the ES mini is a very mean reverting instrument. And that's because it's very efficient. Uh, by the way, this is you can notice this in every market. Once the market becomes very efficient, uh, that means millions of participants in it, then uh, it will become noisy and mean reverting in nature. While new markets usually are not noisy and trendy in uh, character. I would like to build um, a simple mean reverting, that means I'm going to count how many days are up in a row or down in a row and then take the trade in the opposite direction. So let's say if the market is down five days in a row, then I will go long. Or if the market is uh, up five days in a row, then I will go short. And I will exit in a fixed number of bars or a profit target or when reverting to the mean. Uh, many ways to exit. But the idea is, is this counting? Because how will I know how many bars? Now, obviously we can do, uh, as I, I think I showed you in a different example before, where we can do uh, close close one greater than close two. And then for the next day, I need to add another day. So close to greater than close three and so forth. That means for five days, I have to do five of these. And if I want to change anything, I have to come back and delete. So it's a lot easier to do a counter that counts these. And then I can randomize that and then end up with from one day up to as many as I like, to 30 days up. So the way to do this is again with a variable. And if we, in Algo Wizard, if you see here, add rule. So let's add this rule. And it's a if then statement on bar open. Rules triggered on bar open. Rules triggered, triggered on every tick because during the bar, let's say you're doing five minute bar, you might have a thousand ticks on it inside. So uh, obviously we're gonna do it on the bar open only. So let's add that. And now I have this rule and I will rename it to up counter. So this will calculate the number of up days. And the condition is if the close of today or of this bar, if you're doing intraday, higher than the close of the previous bar, then count. So what's the action? So the action will be assign a value to the variable. The variable is none of these. So I need to create a new variable. So variable five. So I want to, this is my counter. I want to increase it by one every time this happens. So I'll click here and I'll click addition. And then it's the uh, variable, which is variable five plus one which is just a number. So now every time the close of current bar, when it's higher than the close of the previous bar, 
I will increase one to this counter. If however, the next bar is, is below this, then I need to reset this counter. And I will do this uh, on the opposite side. Since I'm gonna do uh, long and short, then I can do it here. And let's do it here. So I will assign another variable. And this is for the short counting. So again, I need a new variable. And this time I'm gonna assign a value to it only. So it's a number zero. So variable five, count the up days. Variable six, count the down days. So when it's up, I will increase the up days and reset the down days. And I'll reverse this for the down counting. So I can come here and say duplicate. And I'll rename this as the down counter. And when the close is lower than the close of the day before, I will increment the down counter, which is variable six. And I'll reset the up counter, which is variable five. So let's put this one to the left. So the up counter, when the close above the previous close, I will increase variable five, counting the up days, and reset the down days. And it's the opposite. When the close is below the previous close, then I will increment the down days and reset the up days. So now that I have this counter, I can come to my trading signal and say, if the current close lower than, because remember we're doing a uh, mean reverse, reversion, that means it's counter trend, is lower than, than the close of the previous bar, and the counter, and we need to do obviously the opposite. So, the, so variable six hold the number of down days. I'm gonna go long when it's more than one down day in a row. So it's variable six. So when variable six greater than, and here, let's say in the beginning, we wanted three days. Now to make this a template, I need to go to settings, advance and switch on template. So now I can click on three and come here and choose generate randomly. So this will, will do from one to 10 with a step one. And this will be my up days. This is just the identification name. So when the close lower than the previous close and the down days counter greater than a number between one and 10, then I will go long. That's my long signal. And it's the opposite for short. So I can copy this and I need to add any condition here so I can paste and paste and copy this and paste and let me delete this so I'm, I will go short when the close is greater than and when variable 5 which is counting the updates greater than a number so that's my long entry, short entry. Now, once I enter, I will exit after number of bars. Let's put between uh, one, two, five, and a step of one. Or even we can go to 10, although I think 10 is too much, but let's say one to 10. And same for short entry, Exit after number of bars, and I will do one, two, ten, step one. So, trading signal is done. The exit is done after bars, 
and these are not used because I mean it's used but it's using the exit which we specify here and then these are the variables so I will save this and let's call it strategy with variable version 1 now I'll come to builder and load the strategy This will not affect it. The data will affect it. We will use DS daily 2007 January 1 to let's pick 2013 December. And we will have commission and slippage and no stop loss. And building blocks doesn't matter. Money management is one, no cross check. And let's uh, no ranking. So let's start the building process. Updates is used more than once. Okay. And the error here is we use the same uh, name. So You can see this updates variable is used both. So here we need to count the uh, down days. So updates and down days. And let's save. So once it's saved over the same name, I don't need to reload it. It's already done. So I just start. And we have nice strategies done 659 now the bank is 1000 I have no filters everything is off so you might ask why I don't have 1000 strategies and the reason you can find out is here because all the strategies are accepted I don't have any rejection filter so if you click on accepted you will see that the total is a thousand but the strategy is too similar to or the same as the strategy in databank. So there are 307 that are very similar and 308 just replaced with better strategies. So that's why we have only 659. Now let me pick the best strategies. So return over drawdown. This is 10, only 2. So this looks nice, 186. And let's go to the source code and pseudo code. The counter, this is the long entry. Close, smaller than the close uh, one bar earlier. And variable six greater than one. But where is the value that variable six is getting? So you'll see if you scroll down, all the way down, you'll see trading rule, up counter, down counter. But what's going to happen here is it's counting the bar after the fact. Currently, the way, uh, for example, TradeStation and Multichart works, they work on, on, on the end of uh, each bar. So on end of the bar, the variable, variable 6 is not counted yet. It's using the previous bar. And it will go through this code and it will count it at, at the end. Actually, I can show you here if we go to, sorry, trade station. You will see that uh, value three equals to variable six and variable six is counted at the end. So variable six equal to variable six plus assign variable value, which is this one, one. So in order to move the counter to the beginning of the calculation, which is that the right way, then you need to move these here because strategy quant builds from left to right. So I need to move left
So now the blocks will be up counter, down counter, trading signals, and the exits. And if I save this, go back here, remember any all these strategies, the counter is at the end. All of them. And now if I clear all, start again. And now all these strategies, the counter will be at the beginning. See, right after initializations, it's the up counter, down counter, and then the trading rule. We seem to have good strategies. This is me reverting strategy on the ES. I assume a lot of them will do okay if we test the full data. So let's pick the... Uh, Let's pick up to here, retest, and let's go full setting, and now let's pick 2020, last date. So nothing has changed, same options, same money management, no cross check, no ranking, we only did the data. So now we're gonna test till 2020 and it's gonna test all of them. Because now nothing is selected so all of them will be tested and put in portfolio. So they should be 96. And let's see what we got. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Almost 20 strategies are losing money. And the rest are rest are profitable. So that's like 80% success rate. Now we can see this is in a drawdown for the last two years. Same. All of them, they look the same. This is totally different. So yeah, definitely this strategy is different. This is also different. So combining these three in a portfolio should be good. In any case, you get the idea. Uh, and that's how you do a strategy with a variable and you can come up with uh, great strategies by the way this is a mean reverting strategy most of mean reverting strategies will work on ES uh, still this is not uh, vetted via robustness testing this uh, the idea of this uh, video is to show you how to build variables inside your strategy and we can see that the variable is set very well five and six here so as usual i hope that was useful please share subscribe and like and i'll see you in the next video